Saberites, Anonymous here, here to bring you the rest of the review for the Vader's Vault Legionnaire, uh, the combat saber that has been designed with the Dueling Club Saber Legion in mind. Um, so, me and Nero went into this purchase together and uh, decided to do a joint review. His review is up, link in the description and right here. Um, then he sent it over to me and we've been putting it through some combat for the past uh, month or so. Um, luckily, on a few of the days, one of our workshop attendees, Dalton Smith, brought, brought his own Vader's Volt uh, Legionnaire to the workshop. So we have a lot of footage where it's Legionnaire versus Legionnaire. Um, <clears throat> it's a tough little saber. We've we didn't really hold back with it. I've used it against multiple other sabers, heavy grade blades. It's taken uh, direct shots to the hilt. Um, it still works great. Um, and I haven't charged it up yet, so um, charge lasts a very, very long time. Um, <clears throat> it's a very responsive hilt. It's very quick, very light. Um, it feels much more like a shinai than a, uh, say, a sword. Uh, but uh, for anybody coming from the kendo background, um, I don't think anybody's going to mind that. Um, it makes it a very, very fast um, saber in that regard. Um, it's also nice and long, so it can easily accommodate two gloved hands, which is important when we are uh, talking about uh, dueling. Uh, because we're going to be wearing lacrosse gloves or HEMA gloves or something something of that nature which is going to uh, crowd our hands like that. There are no protrusions, no anything like that. There's not even really a belt clip or a belt attachment. Um, so this is a stripped down combat only saber and it does work uh, very well uh, that way. Uh, as I said, it's very tough. We put it through both medium and heavy dueling. Um, it goes up against the protective gear, against each other. We even had a disarm where it hit the ground hard. And uh, as you can see, it uh, still survived. Um, now, a couple of the drawbacks to it. Um, it's a very, very nice saber, but um, a couple of minor issues. One thing, as I've been using it more and more and more, this has been getting more and more out of alignment um, to the point where now, even before it stops, it's a little bit there. So in order to have it lined up, it still needs to be loose. So there's that. Um, also, a couple of times we've had uh, problems with the pommel screwing out because of the shock. So. Um, luckily we were able to uh, notice it. Um, you can see the uh, moment right here where uh, <clears throat> the pommel drops off. Uh, luckily we caught it before uh, anybody hit the guts of the saber which were sticking out at the time. Um, the other drawback to this was we had uh, the tendency to have shutoffs and restarts. Um, the shock of hitting the sabers together, of hitting gear, of just moving that quickly uh, will sometimes, I believe, jostle the uh, battery inside, which will cause the uh, card to restart. Um, <clears throat> so another minor issue, but uh, still something that uh, happened in both mine and um, the other uh, uh, Legionnaire model. Uh, so that is something to, to, to think about. Watch the pommel and be prepared for a little bit of that. Um, okay, so uh, finishing up, I'll just kind of uh, talk about the balance here. I've got uh, two, two blades here, mid-grade. This is a 40-inch mid-grade. And with a 40-inch mid-grade, we have got this balance right here. 
So it's very close, almost right at the emitter. Um, right there. So that's so that's that. Still in front of the hand, technically. So um, still good. The other one is the 40 inch heavy grade. We'll put that in there, and that actually balances a much more reasonable distance from the hilt there. Um, <clears throat> so it actually balances really, really nicely. Um, one thing to keep in mind, it is extremely light. So uh, even though it may be balancing out on the blade a little bit, it still does not feel as if it does. Um, it is still extremely responsive, very, um, very quick. Um, so there you go. Okay, so to sum up, um, it, we've got a very nice solid dueling hilt here. Um, a couple of minor issues. These issues could be related to its prototype status or its, its, its uh, first run status. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but since it is two pieces, that is going to be something that you're going to want to watch out for, especially if you're into ringing the hilt, um, as a lot of uh, people are. Um, the sound uh, option is, of course, not something that I'm going to go into. We just looked at the combat there. As you can see, it's going through a lot of abuse, and other than this little, this little thing here, it's held up pretty well. Not a whole lot of uh, superficial scratches, scuffs, or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so a very kind of solid uh, hilt. Um, also, the as has been talked about, the Suba is completely removable. So if you don't like the Suba there, that's totally okay as well. So there you go. If you're into uh, dueling, if you're a member of the Saber Legion, I'm sure uh, you're going to enjoy this hilt um, a lot. Uh, if you're into just combat and you're coming from, say, a kendo or kenjutsu background, uh, I think this hilt will, uh, will serve your needs very well. As I said, it feels very much like a shinai or practice weapon in that, in that respect. Um, so, uh, all in all, a very solid, solid piece from Vader's Will. All right, so if you're interested in this saber, you can follow the link below or uh, check the description. We'll put it there as well. Um, uh, otherwise, I will check you next time. We'll be, uh, hopefully we'll have another uh, weapons locker very soon. Until then, have a great day and happy sabering. Super awesome.